Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Google's um, image editor. Uh, it used to be called Picnic, it's now, I think it's called Creative Kit. Um, I'm in my Google Plus profile here, so I'm going to click to Photos on the left, and then I'll click Albums. So this is effectively all my Picasso albums that are now bought into my Google Plus account. When I upgraded, they're transferred over. You can still access Picasso web albums um, if you're not using Google Plus, so just go to your Picasso web albums and find the image. Um, if you then click on the image, all you need to do is go to under Actions here. You want to look for Edit in Creative Kit. It's that option. When you click on it, it loads up the editor, and this looks pretty much just like Picnic, slightly changed, but it's it's pretty much what Picnic was. So they've obviously rebranded it. Um, and it brings up the editor and that's how it looks. I'm going to go in via Google Plus just to show you that way as well. So again, sorry, in Picasso here, I've just gone to Edit Creative Kit. And in Google Plus, if I click on this image here, and then let's say I click on it, it opens up a light box so I can preview the images in this in this folder. Um, up top here, I've got a Edit Photo link. Click on Edit Photo, it then loads up the Creative kit again. Now this is a really really good editor if you just want to quickly add an effect to an image, you want to resize an image, maybe crop a family photo, um, especially good for cropping pictures if you put them on your website. Okay so this image here for example let's just say I'll choose crop on the left, we'll take a bit of size like this and then I'll just click apply. Um, I've got exposures, colors, I can sharpen. Let's change the color, let's saturate it a bit and let's change the temperature. Okay, click apply, I can then sharpen. Let's bring it up really sharp with some clarity. Yeah, okay, and click apply. Um, I've got all these different effects, so I can choose different effects here. And this is great if you want to quickly switch an image to be black and white. You can just go and choose the basic effects of black and white it just turns the image you can then you know look just color in actually where you wanted to show color through um, I'll click cancel on that one and they've got loads of other settings uh, camera settings and they kind of all apply on the fly until you until you click apply but you can also undo the image as well you've got top right you've got undo so anything you apply is a tint. So it's got some really, really nice effects. Um, another thing we can do is text. Let's put uh, something like space. Let's write space. Add that. Okay, drag it there. Let's see, they've got some lovely fonts as well. If you wanted to add some fonts, and it just changes for you. They've got some handwriting fonts. Animal. Uh, let's have a look. Green pillow. Here's one. If I just click this, I can expand it bigger. Okay. So it just says space. Um, okay. What other decorate? I can add speech bubbles and other images and things. But really, just to show you, it's an excellent editor. So if you ever need to edit an image, quickly crop an image, resize something, and even add some text to it, you know, it's really really easy to use um, so from Google Plus I've gone in and just clicked that edit photo but this is excellent especially for people who want to edit images for websites because they can just come here quickly crop them, crop them and resize them the resize option again it's you can choose to keep the proportions or that is really keeping the aspect ratio so if you change the width or the height it keeps them all together so it matches and keeps the image in the same aspect ratio on the top right, just off screen here, we've got save. If I click save, um, you can choose to replace the original or save a new copy. I always do save a new copy. Apply resize, discard resize. Um, I always save a new copy just because I can then go back and get the original and, and do another one. But we'll just let this saving now and it should just load and let me preview it. And there you have it. I mean, I've just played around what took me a couple of minutes and just made a different image. Um, if I go back to the actual gallery, or oh, sorry, the album, you'll see it saved the album or that image in the album on the right. 
So this is now called Creative Kit. Okay, so if you want to quickly edit images of your family photos for your website, go and try it out. It's an excellent little editor. Um, you can even use it to make banners if you're building a website. You could even use it to make very simple banners if you wanted to. But um, go and try it out. It's really cool if you want to just add effects to images. You want to turn images into you know grayscale. Maybe you're trying to make a, fi a Facebook profile image. You just want to make it look a bit different. Um, you know, go and play around with some of the effects and see what you can come up with. So that's the editor again in Picasa. All I done was clicked under Actions, Edit in Creative Kit. Um, but I hope that helps. I hope you, you know, make some nice images and send them over to us so we can see them.